dentist. Uh, I've done my bachelor's in dentistry from India, and I did my master's in dentistry. And I I taught a dentist. I taught endodontic, which is root canal therapy, in a college for like three years. And I've been practicing endodontics in dental in clinics as well, and working in a public health institute. As well in the morning, I chose Karolinska because uh, it's it's known for its research, and Sweden is a great country. And I've never been to Europe before, so mm -hmm. I want the whole European experience. So that's why I've come here. And uh, global health because um, it's so di it's got a lot of uh, people from so many countries. It's so diverse, and we have such an interesting course curriculum, a shorter course with a lot of things in it. So. So that's why I took the masters in global. Yeah, what I would like to say is um, make your resume strong. Do a lot of uh, other things apart from what you study, because um, maybe volunteer a lot. Because you need to know what you're getting into. Because it's not just doing a masters is not enough. You need to plan what you want to do after that as well. So maybe volunteer. Find out what's your niche area. And what you're of course. Yeah, I don't really plan too much. I kind of go with the flow. And um, the the thing is, what I want to do is I want to work in advocacy, and I want to advocate for a lot of issues back in India. There are so many things not exactly going on really well in public health. So I want to be this uh, force, a very small force, but at least try to do something. So I guess this would help me do that. So along with clinical practice, maybe I could do both. That's what I want to do. I want to juggle both, treating a patient and treating the public as a well. whole. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I like to thank my sister, because she's the one driving force in my life. So yeah, thank you so much for everything. <laughs>